Our next guest has been living with cancer for nearly tw 20 years. It's a rare form. She was even misdiagnosed for several years and she made way too many trips to the ER. Mary Ann Wayman is now along with us with her doctor, Dr. Hal Gerstein, to discuss the signs and the symptoms of neuroendocrine tumors or NETs. Good morning to you both. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Mary Ann, tell me about your symptoms and what you were going through. I hate to hear that you went so many times to the ER. Explain to us what was happening. Um, in 1994, I started having symptoms and I was having vague symptoms. I would have diarrhea here and there, and I would have abdominal pain and some rectal bleeding. And I went from doctor to doctor and ER visits, and doctors were saying irritable bowels, Crohn's disease, ulcerated colitis. Um, and um, some said I needed more fiber in my diet, or I needed a marriage counselor, or that I need to see a psychiatrist. And um, finally, the seventh doctor um, said, let me use a pediatric scope so I can check you out better. And I looked at him like he was crazy, because of course I was in my 30s. And sure enough, when he did the scope, he found the tumor in my uh, elastical valve. And um, I had surgery following, um, and then I started some treatment. And I started with the somatostatin analog. And I did very well on it for a few years, and then my symptoms started coming back. And uh, in uh, uh, April, I started a new medication um, for me, and that was Zomelo, which was just FDA approved in February um, to control the diarrhea and the flushing, controls the serotonin, um, which I'm sure Dr. Gerstein will go more into. And so um, I'm stable. Am good. I cured? No, but stable is good. Yeah, stay, and I really appreciate you sharing your story. Dr. Gerstein, why do you think so many people are mis misdiagnosed? Well, this is a rare tumor. It, we only get about 5,000 new cases per year in the United States. And uh, therefore, it's not at the top of our list uh, in diagnoses when a patient uh, approaches us uh, with these symptoms. The symptoms are vague. They can occur in a wide variety of different diseases. When a patient uh, sees a doctor and complains of diarrhea, neuroendocrine tumors are not the first thing we think of. Mm -hmm. We'll think of uh, uh, irritable bowel, um, anxiety, inflammatory bowel, food poisoning, almost anything but neuroendocrine tumors. Same thing with wheezing or facial flushing, but it's when the constellation is there, when this triad of symptoms then the doctor really has to start thinking of neuroendocrine tumors. Although it's true that common things occur commonly, sometimes it's the uncommon diagnosis that has to be made. Right, and Marianne, I'm sure that dealing with, you know, you have to be the advocate for yourself. You've also created an organization. Tell us about that. Um, yes, you know, when I got diagnosed in 2001, there really wasn't much information and not a much, a lot of good information. Um, I read that I was going to be gone in five years, um, mm -hmm. and that was kind of un unacceptable, especially after being misdiagnosed for seven. Um, I thought it was a ticking time bomb. Um, and, and then I started learning more information, and in 2003, we started a foundation, and so we started a hotline that was available 365 days a year. So when a patient calls, they speak to myself and my husband. So we actually are speaking to people who understand what's going on with other people's bodies because we've been there ourselves. We've been this journey. Um, we started the website and uh, we started doing conferences around the country to educate patients and caregivers and also now physicians. Uh, we record the events and post them on the website so people can hear from the world-renowned doctors that specialize in this disease. And the website? About treatments, about where to go. The website is netcancerawareness.org and the toll-free number is 866-850-9555. And there's another website, zomelo.com, that has a lot of good information as well. Well, both of you, thank you so much for joining us today. And I know that it's great information that you've put all in one place. And Marianne, continued uh, success for you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You Thank too. You.